the time I didn't have something on my face, which was sunscreen. So I am a, was, am still a teeny bopper. Well, I'm not a teeny, but I was a big teeny bopper. And um, I love the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and New Kids on the Block and Britney and all of it. And um, there was a time when they were, the Backstreet Boys were in Philly. And I went to college in Philly and I was 20 maybe. And um, they were staying at the Rittenhouse Square Hotel which is right down the block from the coffee shop I worked at. And I was like, I'm going to meet the Backstreet Boys. Like, I'm going to stay out as long as it takes and meet the Backstreet Boys. And, and like, they wouldn't let you cross the street towards the hotel because obviously they're the Backstreet Boys. And there'd be all these little, like, girls there with their moms. But I'm 20. So, like, I don't have, like, a curfew and I don't need to go home or whatever. So I would stay there all night and all night. And it was summer and it was, like, crazy, crazy hot. And I didn't, plan, I was, I didn't really plan well. I didn't really plan at all. So I, for five nights and six days, I slept outside the Rittenhouse Square Hotel. I didn't go to work, I didn't go to school, and I got sun poisoned. And it was, it's, I mean, I'm talking like all over my face and my arms and all over my body, and then I meet Nick Carter. So it's like 3 a.m., and I'm still awake and outside waiting to meet the Backstreet Boys. And he comes back from whatever bar he's at, and he's wasted. He's obliterated. So the picture that I have proof of, of me and Nick Carter, goes like this. Like, I'm totally sun poisoned, and I'm like, and Nick Carter's like. <laughs> and that's how I met the back. <laughs>